The St Ledger over 2,800 metres is the first leg of the double. Here's Ken Callender with the early totes. Thanks, Kenny, and the Sydney Kings aren't quite as much a joke as that. OK, the favourite in the first leg of the double, the St Ledger, is Palace Symphony. He was running in Sydney last start in the Frank Packer Plate, a much uh, a stronger field than this, to put it bluntly, and I think the Palace Symphony will win. He's a 6-4 to four chance. Pax a million is at 8-1, to one, 16 Marillion Strike, 8 Head Cutter, 30 More Than Star, 14 Shipwreck Coast, 15 Sun of Raj, 16 Stress Related, 14 Long Time No See, 16 Piper's Chair, 20 Winter Coat, 30 The Other Option, 100 Lift Up Your Heart, 80 Indian Proverb, 40 True Pearl, and Strike High is at 12 to 1. Back to you, Kenny. Good on you, Ken. OK, a whole ton of fun ahead on the show. Take a look at this. Ahead on the show, the Leadfoots. Max, they tell me most of the smart money's in Maxi Walker's pocket, but the smart money on the race course is on Palace Symphony. Still at 6-4, to four, and remember these are Victorian TAB prices, trained by Lee Friedman, and Lee Friedman, as you know, wins races all over Australia. This is a group race, and uh, it'll be right to the fore. The rider, the same rider that won the Melbourne Cup for Lee, Greg Hall. Number two, Pax a Million is at 10-1. to one. Marillion Strike is at 16-1. to one. Head Cutter at 8s. Moreland Star at 33, Shipwreck Coast at uh, 15 to 1, Son of Raj at 16 to 1, Stress Related at 20, Long Time No See 14, Piper's Chair 20, Winter Coat 16 earlier into 15, into about 14 now, I might firm a little bit more yet. 33, the other option, 100 Lift Up Your Heart, 100 Indian Proverb, 66 to 1 True Pearl. Last time we were on air, we had Strike High at 12 to 1 into 8s, might even come in a little bit more to about 7 to 1. The right on strike high is Paddy Payne. OK, you can see there behind uh, the barrier for, for the uh, start of the St Ledger Stakes at Flemington. As I said, the St Ledger is a classic race. In New South Wales, the St Ledger is open to three and four-year-olds. In Melbourne, it's only open to three-year-olds. And it's a 2,800-metre race, so uh, the start's about 400 metres uh, short of the Melbourne Cup start. They come down the straight, and when they get to the winning post, they've got a lap to go. So they really start, as you can see, almost on the turn into the straight there. They go past the post and then do another lap. Palace Symphony, if you're looking for him, is starting from near the outside of the field in barrier 15, second outside in red-yellow colours, and they're about to jump. Let's go to Flemington. And it was a very good start too, and uh, one of the first to bound out stress related towards the inside from Lift Up Your Heart and Strike High began well near the rail, and uh, getting out smartly also as Shipwreck Coast, and very deep as Palace Symphony, followed by Long Time No See, and very wide the other option. He's in behind them, Son of Raj, and they were being followed closely over on the outside by Piper's Chair, a length further back as Meridian Striker, then Moreland Star, followed by Indian Proverb, and True Pearl has dropped out to last. Now racing down the straight towards the Judger, and uh, Palace Symphony from his wide alley is now over on the inside. Side. He's one of the leaders here with the other option as they go out of the straighter. And uh, shortly afterwards, 2,200 metres left to go. And the other option had moved up to take the leader, allowing uh, Palace Symphony to get into the box seat second as they go out of the straight. A length and a half stress related. Close in behind them, Winter Cutters running one off the fence, followed by Long Time No See. A length to strike high on the insider of the Pax a million. Two lengths further back has Lift Up Your Heart. Head Cutter is next on the inside of Son of Raja. A length and a half then to Shipwreck Coast being followed by Piper's Chair. And further back to Moreland Star. Two lengths, Meridian Strike, who's a long way backer. So is Indian Proverb second last and True Pearl has dropped out to last. 1,800 metres left to go. The other option, the leader by length, the Pella Symphony in the box seat on the inside of Long Time No See. Then Winter Coat running fourth, being followed by Stress Related. A length and a half packs a million. Half a length away to strike high. A length and a half lift up your heart on the outside of Head Cutter. They're closely followed by Shipwreck Coast and back along the inside to Moreland Star, followed by Son of Raj and Piper's Chair. And a bit further away on the rails, Meridian Strike, followed by Indian Proverb second last and two lengths away at the back of the field is True Perler. They've passed the 1400 metre mark in the St Ledger. Little or no change in the order. The other option still the leader. Leads about a length here in advance of long time no see on the outside of the favourite Palace Symphony is getting a glorious run. Two lengths further back to Winter Coat on the outside being followed by Stress Related. Two lengths to Pax a million. A length and a half further back is Strike High. Then over on the outside to Lift Up Your Heart being followed by Son of Raj and commencing a move around the outside. Piper's Chair taking closer order. He's going up very fast from the middle of the field. 
quarter. A length and a half further back then at the head of the others came Shipwreck Coast, followed by Head Cutter. Indian Proverb, well back, followed by Moreland Star. True Pearl is second last. Meridian Strikers tailed out to last. Up towards the home turner and the leader here on the inside. The other option about to be tackled by Palace Symphony as they come around the home turn. They're followed closely over on the outside by Wintercoat, who's joining in. Two lengths away, stress related. Further back as long time, no see and strike higher as they straighten up in the St. Ledger with about 450 left to go. And Pella Symphony on the outside has taken a slight leader. The other option boxing on pretty well. This leader looks to be going well, though. Greg Hall had a good look over his shoulder to see where the others were. He's got a lap of horse under him and he goes for the whip now and goes for home on Pella Symphony. It's drawn out. Two lengths to strike high is running a bold race second. And they're followed further back in the field down the outside by Head Cutter. Pella Symphony is stopping. Head Cutter is flying down the outside. Head Cutter is grabbing Pella Symphony. Head Cutter going home the better. Head Cutter won the St. Ledger. Head Cutter in the Cadbury St. Ledger from Pella Symphony. Strike high as third, followed by a winter coat. Back behind the Meridian Strike made up a ton of ground. Came from last in True Pearl. Stress related, followed by the other option. Shipwreck Coast behind them. Long time no see. Lift up your heart. Pax a million. Moreland Star, Son of Raj and Indian Proverb as well back second last. And Piper's Chair is the last home. Five, the Cabri St. Ledger, 4, 1 and 16 the numbers. Head cut, a great finish down the outside, 9.80 and 2.90. Palace Symphony, $1.50 and Strike High, $2.30. Tennis star Monica... Double and Ken Callender has an early market. Thanks very much, Ken. Yes, from the top, match dancer is at 20 to 1. Takashi, or Takishi, whatever you like to call it, is at 4 to 1. Little Red Dragon at 8. The favourite late at night, uh, Larry Cassidy at 9 to 4. 33, our best prince, 12, Super Reserve, 16, Prince of Ipo. I like rather Regal at 3 to 1, and Kudazan is at 9 to 1. Back to Maxi. Yeah, keep me eye on that one, rather Regal. OK, from turf to surf, completing the double, here's Johnny Tapp. Thank you, Max. Nice to be with you. And uh, the race coming up is the Tui's Blue Handicap over 2,000 metres. That means a blind start, and we'll have them moving in very shortly. Little horse in the race called Rather Regal, but firstly, late at night, uh, I think, is favourite. We'll check with Ken in a moment. Now, late at night is trained here by Kerry Jordan, who had the Derby winner recently, Innocent King. She's part owned by Helen Cassidy, wife of top jockey Jimmy Cassidy, but today her brother-in-law is the rider, young Larry Cassidy. Now, Ken, this mare is a nerve nut, and I say that uh, as kindly as I possibly can. She gets herself stirred up and very excited and can do things wrong, and that's putting it mildly. Yes, John, that's exactly right. I'll just have time to run through the prices, including late at nights. Match Dancer is into 14 to 1 now. Uh, Takeshi at 4 to 1. Number 3, Little Red Dragon out to 9 to 1. Late at night was 5 to 2, out to 11 to 4, $3.80. Our Best Prince at 33 to 1, almost to 40 to 1. Super Reserve is at 12 to 1, out to 14 to 1. Prince of Ipo at 12 to 1. Rather Regal, I gave you a threes early. He's our tip. He's into 5 to 2, $3.60. Kudazan is at 9 to 1, and when John said this is a blind start, he only meant that it was blind to where he's positioned. It's not blind to the horses. Here he is. <laughs> That's exactly right, Ken. I should have clarified that. Now, I can't see the start here. In fact, that applies to all callers. They travel 50 or 60 metres before coming into our view. In big fields, uh, sometimes the colours tend to go out of your mind, uh, and you've got to keep looking at the book and just keep uh, uh, calling the names to, uh, to yourself, parrot fashion. Here they come. Flag down. And they'll be in view in just a moment, and here they come racing into view. The early leader, Kudazan, joined quickly by Rather Regal and Match Dancer on the outside, and late at night jumped away nicely. She's fourth going over the first crossing on the inside of Our Best Prince, followed by Little Red Dragon, Prince of Ipo. Super Reserve going a bit hard, had to check off the heels of the horse in front and dropping out last to Kishi. At the 1600 mark, about to swing to the back, Match Dancer crossed and went to the lead from Our Best Prince. Kudazan third, Rather Regal steadied, running fourth on the outside. Late at night is being allowed to stride around them now and as three wide as they swing into the back straight. About three lengths away, Prince of Ipo, a length the Little Red Dragon, three quarters to Super Reserve and two to Takeshi. As they head down the back at the 1300 mark, the pace is generous. Match Dancer by about two to our best Prince and three quarters away, Kudazan. Late at night on the outside taking closer order. Rather Regal getting a cosy run fifth, about three and a half lengths off the lead. Two and a half to Prince of Ipo, three quarters to Little Red Dragon on the fence, followed by Super Reserve 
Reserve and Takeshi at the 1,000 mark. Match Dancer is being pressured a bit by our best Prince on the outside. Late at night, third on the outside of Coup Design, a length and a half to Rather Regal. Then Prince of Ipo, followed by Super Reserve, Little Red Dragon and Takeshi as they swing down the side at the 700 mark. And our best Prince put the head in front of Match Dancer. Coup Design, third, late at night, fourth. She'll have to go pretty deep on the turn. Rather Regal tracking those into the straight, followed by Prince of Ipo, Takeshi, Super Reserve and last Little Red Dragon. Heads are turned for home now. Our best Prince, the leader, over Coup Design. Late at night is three and four deep and right off the track, Rather Regal. Straightening up, Match Dancer getting the rails run. Into the home straight now, it's Match Dancer, our best Prince, Coup Design on the outside from late at night. Rather Regal is wider out, running on only fairly and Takeshi down the extreme outside at the 200 and Coup Design has joined Match Dancer. Prince of Ipo getting through in the centre. Coup Design still in front over Prince of Ipo, Match Dancer, Takeshi making a late dash, but Coup Design holding on. It's a double for Kevin Moses. Coup Design won well over Prince of Ipo, I think, second in front of Takeshi and Little Red Dragon. Rather Regal only plotted in the run home, so did Late at Night, followed by Match Dancer, and then Super Reserve and our best Prince is last. Yes, well, that was a great ride by Kevin Moses because he was on the rails coming to the turn, but the rails in the home straight is like quicksand, and that's why you can see everything getting wide. And Moses judged the track to perfection, got wide on Kudazan, and look at him go there. Prince of Ipo coming inside in the purple colours will run second, and Takeshi out deep third. If you're on the winner, Kudazan, it's going to pay $11 approximately for the win and $2.50 a place. Second will be uh, Prince of Ipo, TAB number seven, which will pay 3.70 the place, and third will be Takeshi number two, which will pay $1.70. Kenny, back to you. All right, we're cantering steadily through a super Saturday afternoon. Let's take a look at what's waiting down the track. TAB dividends for Sydney Race 6. The two is blue. 9, 7 and 2, the number. Coup de Zahn, 11, 92, 50. Prince of Pyre, 3.70. And Takeshi, $1.70. And to check the early totes for Melbourne Race 7, the Auckland Racing Club, over 1,800 metres. Here's Kenny Callender. Kenny. Yeah, thanks very much, Bear. 1,800 metres is a bit far for you and I, but not for these horses. Number one landowner is at 25 to 1. Bahi at 16 to 1. 10 to 1, time of my life. 20, Forgotten Ruler. 20, Windward Bay. 8 to 1, Dream About It. Queen Echo at 7 to 1. Top guy, Troy Jackman. I think he's got a great chance at 9 to 2. Mr. Narcissus at 9 to 1. Lord Delmar, 66. Mango's Lunch at 5 to 1. Celeste, Paddy Payne at 11 to 2. Joyful Hope at 16 to 1. True Symbol is a scratching. 30 charged. Bold Juggler is a scratching. And Aversion also at 30 to 1. Back to you, Ian. Good on you, Kenny. Before we leave you, the handicap here is Ken Callender. Yes, uh, thanks very much, Kenny. And there's been a few price changes. Uh, let's look at them. Number one landowner at Greg Hall is at 25 to 1. Bahi at 16 to 1. Time of my life at 11. Forgotten Ruler 16. Windward Bay 20. Remember, these are Victorian TAB prices. Number six, Dream About It. Rod Griffiths is at 8 to 1. Queen Echo at 7 to 1. Top guy, the horse I've tipped, Troy Jackman, won two in a row before his last start sixth, uh, is at 4 to 1. He's coming from 9 to 2. Mr. Narcissus is at 12 to 1. Lord Delmar at 60 to 1. Mango's Lunch at 7 to 1. Now, this has been very, very well backed on course. Celeste, Paddy Payne, second in a listed race in Adelaide last start and has come in, I think we had him at 6s or 11 to 2 last call, into 9 to 2. Might even come in a fraction more. Joyful Hope is at 16 to 1. True Symbol is a scratching. Charged at 40 to 1. Bold Juggler is a scratching. And Aversion at, 14 to, at 40, 4 to 1. I'm thinking of 18. 1,800 metres is the distance of the race. Uh, we can see they're going in to the starting stalls there. Uh, they've got a bit of a run. Uh, it's about three quarters of a lap of Flemington. And uh, big wide open spaces. Every horse will get his chance. They're just about all in. Time for us to cross to Flemington for the running of the second leg of the double. Mango's lunch makes a good line. Already set, they're off. Celeste first to begin near the inside from Queen Echo and Mr Narcissus and behind them Top Guy jumped away well with Time of My Life. Settling in behind them Mango's Lunch and they were being followed by Joyful Hope going around the outside Lord Delmar. Very deep as Dream About It being followed by Landowner Reversion back along the inside followed by Forgotten Ruler and Windward Bay about fourth last on Settling followed by Bar High and a Charged has dropped out to last. 1400 metres to run. Queen Echo goes to the leader. About a length and a half Celeste. Half a length away the outside to Top Guy. Two lengths away. Reefering for his 
his head next is Mr. Narcissus on the insider of Time of My Life with centre out three deep there, Dream About It, a length and a half to Mango's Lunch on the inside of Landowner, then Joyful Hope a bit further back to Windward Bay, followed by Lord Delmar, a length and a half, Forgotten Ruler on the inside of Aversion, Bar High was second last in a fairly well strung outfield and charged as bringing up the rear, 1,000 to go, Queen Echo doing it well in the lead about a length and a half in advance of Top Guy on the outside of Celeste here, Time of My Life is fourth, followed by Mr. Narcissus, Dream About It, Landowner making a run as next, a length and a half, Mango's Lunch on the inside of Joyful Hope and Windward Bay, then Lord Delmar, well back Forgotten Ruler, being followed next over on the outside by Bar High, a version well back in the field and charged is still last of all as they come around the home turn. 500 metres to run and Queen Echo will lead them into the straight by a length and a half. Top guy close hand here. They're followed by Time of My Life over on the inside being shaken up as Celestia and Dream About It running on pretty well. And they're followed by Landowner and Mr Narcissus as they come to the 300. Queen Echo is the leader from Top Guy who's coming at it very quickly on the outside. Celestia now under the whip is starting to make some ground and Dream About It. Queen Echo on the inside is tackled by Top Guy in the final stages. Top Guy almost leveled Queen Echo fighting on gamely top guy trying to get to it and here comes Landowner Landowner down the outside is swamping them hits the front Landowner a big winner Landowner from top guy third Queen Echo Mango's lunch a version both ran on well they're followed by Windward Bay and back behind them came further back Lord Delmar followed by Celeste joyful hope dream about it forgotten ruler bar high time of my life Mr Narcissus and last is charged seven and the numbers one eight and seven land owner thirty three ninety and eight dollars eighty top guy a dollar eighty queen echo two dollars and seventy cents shortly to john tap tennis star monica Sellis is in a satisfactory condition in hospital after oh but the odds are still seventeen to two against him seventeen colts against two geldings prairie bayou was gelded fifteen months ago cut as horsemen say fixed so that he can never be a stallion, can never reproduce, can never command handsome stud fees. Why would a thoroughbred with potential stud fees in the millions be gelded? They usually geld them because they act up and they're so cantankerous. Prairie Bayou, however, was gelded not because of his temperament, but because of his size. He was large and awkward. He was a big, growthy colt, was carrying a whole lot of weight and we were afraid he'd get too big on us. So that's why we cut him. Geldings tend to stay slimmer than colts. They don't get the muscle mass. They get a little bit more refined in their neck. Uh, they don't put on the bulk as, as readily. Jockey Steve Cawthon, who won the Derby 15 years ago, says that while three-year-old colts are starting to think about fillies, geldings aren't. They haven't got so many things on their mind. Usually they're, they're able to just concentrate on what their job is, which is racing. Maybe not the unkindest cut of all. Let's go out to Rose Hill, second look at the Daily Double. Here's Kenny Cowan again. Thanks very much, Ian. Yes, they're about to jump. I'll have time to race through the prices. From the top, Misty Patch at 8-1, Lagisque at 13-2, Sea Mission 12, Argyle, Co th Argyle Cut 33, Gomez 14, Prondre Lejeure 7 to 1, Blazing Thoughts 12, Pipperway 10, Considered 25, Harper Valley 25, Mind Blast the favourite but easing in the ring at 5 to 2, uh, Courting Time at 80, Red Fluke 9, The Ricochet 100, Get a Rhythm 200, they're about to go, here's Johnny. Thanks Ken, one to move in, Prondre Lejeure and we'll have them on their way in race 7, as the shadows lengthen at Rose Hill, been a lovely pleasant autumn day. Uh, but we're uh, getting to that time of year now where there's not much daylight after about four o'clock. Starter onto his stand, all set. Last couple move in, line looks good now. They'll be away at any tick of the clock. No, the starter's come down off his stand. There's a problem. I think I just heard one of the jockeys say that... Uh, one of the horses had, had uh, I thought he said, had a leg caught. Maybe he was up in the air and had one leg over into the adjoining stall. Argyle Cut has been taken out of the gates. And uh, rider C. Shoemaker has been instructed to trot that mare around behind the stall. She'll undergo a quick veterinary inspection. So she must have um, got into some trouble in the stalls. Argyle Cut, she's been cleared and walks back in. Now Argyle Cut is now reluctant to move into the barrier. A couple of the gatemen uh, getting behind now to try and 
push Argyle cut back into the stalls. She's a six-year-old mare now, trained by Clary Connors, and she knows a few right, tricks. Now you. she's in. Argyle cut back in. Right Starter ready. Stalls open, oh, slow to move, La Ricochet and Pipaway dwelt as a clear last out of the barrier. Considered began quickly, larger Sky is away like a flash today and went to the lead early over Argyle Cut and Considered. And then Blazing Thoughts and going fast is Mind Blast from a wide barrier. Then Harper Valley go Maz and moving forward, get a rhythm followed by Red Fluke. In that bunch, La Ricochet, Sea Mission followed by Misty Patch, Pipaway and our courting time. Prondre Lajour went back to be last as they settle. To the 1,000 mark, it's a fast run race, larger Gay, the leader. Mind Blast is second. Argyle cut third. A neck away fourth. Blazing Thoughts. At the head of the others then is Le Ricochet on the outside of Considered, followed by Get a Rhythm. Further back is Red Fluke and Harper Valley in that bunch. At the head of the others, Gomez. Then Sea Mission. A long way back. Pip away with Misty Patch and our courting time. And last is Prondre Lajour. They're packing up as they come to the 600 mark. Larger Gay, the leader. Mind Blast is second. Argyle cut third, followed by Blazing Thoughts. Le Ricochet. At the head of the others, Get a Rhythm and then Considered. Back behind those go Maz Red Fluke as midfield on the fence. Pip away is pushed deep on the turn. So is Misty Patch and C Mission as well back as they turn the corner. Larger Gay the leader. Mind Blast allowed to come out to the middle of the track as after Larger Gay in third place. Blazing Thoughts followed by Considered but Mind Blast blasted to the front. At the 200 mark Mind Blast on his own out in the middle has drawn clear of Larger Gay and they're going to Quinella it I think. Mind Blast is drawing right away in the last bit and that is win number three for the top jockey K Moses. Mind Blast beat Larger Skay. Looks like Blazing Thoughts might just get third in front of Misty Patch or Harper Valley. And then Sea Mission followed by, at the head of the others, La Ricochet, Prondre Lajour, and then Red Fluke and Get a Rhythm followed by Pipaway, Considered Argyle Cut, our courting time, and Gomez pulled up with the tail enders. Two and seven, Mind Blast three twenty and a dollar seventy, Lajusquet two dollars seventy. That's not right, but uh, that'll be close enough. Blazing Thoughts is four dollars ten. I think it's how you pronounce it.